I'm Harper Eastfield Keeley. I'm here at the Katie Forum in Toronto. We're at the Delta Hotel. And uh, this is a knowledge trans, uh, sorry, we're a knowledge translator. We're the National Collaborating Center for Infectious Diseases. Today we're experimenting with a new tool called Periscope to get some sort of key messages out. Uh, we're talking to the, some of the, the key presenters at this event. Um, if you're at the Katie event, uh, the conversations are happening with the hashtag Katie. 15, that's C-A-T-I-E 15, so you might want to have the conversations there. We, our Twitter handle, Center Infection, so if you see us talking about the event, this is what we're doing. We're talking to some of the key, the key presenters here about some messages they have, uh, lessons for public health, or the key one message that they might want to bring across to others. So we're here with Dr. Jordan Feld, and he's been uh, talking to us, presenting today about um, uh, continue, sorry, you'll, you'll talk better you about, about, about your work, but we want to uh, ask Dr. Jor Jordan Feld to speak about one key message that he hopes uh, listeners today will bring away from this, uh, from his presentation. Uh, so, Dr. Jordan. Thanks, Harper. So it's a, a great pleasure to be here. And what I was talking to about, to, uh, what I was talking about today was the amazing progress that's happened in the hepatitis C world with uh, incredible advances in treatment. And we now really have effective curative treatment. So the, the messages for me are one, that this is a curable infection. Two, that it does cause a huge burden of disease, not just globally, but here, right here in Canada. And the third thing, and probably the most important thing, is that most people living with this infection don't know they have it. So the biggest message is to start screening. So family doctors need to start screening, and people who might be in the infected, uh, affected community, uh, people with any risk factors in the past, but in truth, we actually recommend that anyone born between the years 1945 and 1970 go and get tested. So just like you go and get a cholesterol test with your family doctor, get a hep C test. The reason is you may not know you have it. There's almost no symptoms to the disease until it's very advanced. If you have it, you should be referred and get this fantastic curative treatment so you don't run into problems down the road. Great. Thanks, uh, Dr. Feld. Also, uh, we're knowledge translators with an audience of public health. Are there key key uh, takeaway lessons for public health in, uh, in what you're putting across today? Well, I think for public health, uh, it's first of all recognizing how important this infection is. So when we looked in Ontario, uh, hepatitis C is the infectious disease that causes the, great the greatest public health burden in this province and probably in the country of Canada. So more than, um, than any infection you've heard of, C. diff, uh, influenza, certainly Ebola, and even HIV, hepatitis C tops the list for burden. And despite that, we're not spending the money and putting the resources behind uh, treatment and care of hepatitis C. I think it really just needs to move up on the agenda of the, the, the public health agenda in this country. And the biggest thing is that the public health um, in public health is we start we need to start advocating for screening so as I mentioned most people don't know they have this infection and the only way we're going to identify asymptomatic people is through screening so we really need to adopt similar strategies like the US has done with birth cohort what they call baby boomer screening and that should be done here in Canada we know it's cost-effective there's good science behind it now we got to start implementing it thanks dr. Feld that's uh, that's really clear and I think there's a call to action in that uh, we're NCCID, we're at the Center, um, uh, Center Infection is our Twitter handle, and we're at the Katie Forum 2015, and thanks for joining us.